You know, I didn't know much about the Cold War until recently. It's not that complicated. It all started in 1945 when America dropped a little boy and a fat man on Japan, which ended the global squabble that had been going on at the time. But then in 1946, an angry little Russian man named Joe said he didn't want to share. America wanted Joe to move out of a load of countries he'd moved into, but he was all NYET YAV BIRATKE. That made America mad. So naturally they decided to show off their weapons of mass destruction. Then later on, America met with 19 Latin American countries and were all, Yeah, bro, I got your back. But they couldn't get everyone's back. In Europe, Czechoslovakia became communists, and so over in Brussels, America's other bros made a pact so they wouldn't be taken over by Joe's commies, a super NATO bro pack of awesomeness and unity. Russia tested its first weapon of mass destruction. Over in Asia, North Korea felt like taking a walk, so Joe said, why are at it, have tons of firearms, which North Korea took and used on their southbound stroll into South Korea. Three years later, North Korea had had enough and decided they should start walking back, which pleased South Korea as they didn't make for two good guests. The H-bomb was tested, the KGB was established, and shit started getting real in Vietnam. Two years later, the USSR decided they didn't like what people were saying, sent some Mossad liver to Afghanistan and dealt with some rebel scum in Hungary, and Egypt took control of a canal. Russia sent a glorified potato into space, which really pissed off America, so a year later NASA basically did the same thing. Russia shot down a spy plane flying over communist territory, and Cuba finally came out as communist, which made for a really awkward Christmas season. Then in 1961, the divination of Germany became a complicated matter. After its previous government didn't do too great a job, the two capturers couldn't decide how to properly govern it. So they did the only reasonable thing and built a massive wall that split the country in two. The US increased their presence in Vietnam, and there was a big misunderstanding in Cuba and the X-Men had to get involved and then they tested some bombs in places until 1965 when u.s marines were sent to dominican republic to fight communism and 200,000 u.s troops were sent to fight in vietnam then some shit happens north korea captures a boat soviets deal with a revolt in czechoslovakia and nixon is elected president of the usa then the americans won the space race in 1969 nixon extended the vietnam war into cambodia in 1970 all until a ceasefire between Vietnam, North Vietnam, and the USA in 1973. Then some more shit happens. President Nixon quits. Vietnam becomes completely communist. The Soviets install a communist government in Angolia. Then China and America becomes friends. The Soviet Union invades a bunch of places, and America takes over a bunch of places. And then America and Russia agree not to blow each other up. And then in 1989, Soviet withdrawal from Afghanistan. Poland and Hungary become independent. And the big wall in Germany is taken down, and all of the Germans can be friends again. And with that, and a little more, the Soviet Union is disbanded, and the Cold War ends. And uh, if you want to know what really happened, check the link in the description.